Hi, this is Joshua Fitzpatrick with AWC. Let's talk about scan operand for positive signal edge and P trig. So, with the the positive signal edge open contact, what it requires is two different things: operand one and operand two. Operand one is the bit that you're going to be watching to go from low to high. Operand two is going to be the state of what it was at the previous scan to now. Let's implement it. Under basic instructions, click on scan operand for the positive edge. You just drag that over. And let's add a set output so we can see it happen when we do a single scan. Let's put a input to it, I0.0, .0. a scan location for the see what the last scan it was reading. And an output that we want to turn on, Q0.1. Download this and see if it works. Alright, let's go on with this. And I have a force table here that's going to turn on. 0, 0.0, so let me type that in. I 0, 0.0. And this is I'm going to put true on here. And then I'm going to write to it. It's forced. And then I'm going to stop writing to it, which will then turn it off. But the bit will still stay high because it saw that positive transition and it set the bit. So let's right click on that and modify to zero and make sure that it actually stops. That is how to use the set operand on positive edge. On the P trig, all it is going to be looking at is what pre what is what comes before the CLK, which is the current RLO which is the logic uh, before the p-trig, so if any of that goes high, so tag 1 and tag 2 go high, then this p-trig will come true, and or if this tag 3 comes high, then this p-trig will come true, which will be this operand which goes down at the bottom, which is this tag m. So if, this, if any of these three become positive for the input of this p-trig, this M memory or this tag that's tied to this P-trig will go high which will then in turn turn on this output for one scan. Alright, let's implement a P-trig. And we need to add an open contact before so we can turn it on and off. And we need to add a set output so we can see it on one scan. So the bit that we want to monitor I 1.0 a storage location for what state was it in before so M 5.0 and an output that we want to turn on Q 0.2 so let's download that and then open up the force table And now let's take a look. Our Q0.2 is on. Let's turn off the force. Stays true. And let's right click on it. 
so that it actually works, turn it to the zeros, we're done. Alright, that's how to do P-Trick. Thank you.